All right, so here we are. What is Next Level Intactivism's media outreach database? Where did it come from? What's the history? We are about to find out. Find out. Male circumcision should be illegal, uh, that it's mutilation of a baby, and that the baby cannot give the consent. So we are waiting for police now to kind of tell us exactly what's going on here. I see the protesters have put down their signs and now they're just kind of hanging out for now. Uh, the one I spoke to said that. Another one, a little bit better. This one wasn't as positive, um, but this one was a little bit better. Oops, what did I just do? Here we go. Oh, I hate it when it does that crap. Here we go. Bloodstained men and their friends organization hit the streets of Gulfport to protect children and future generations from genital cutting. This nonprofit organization was on East Pass Road and Cowan Road today with bloodstained clothes to raise awareness on the effects of infant circumcision. Based out of Davis, California, bloodstained men and friends visit 60 cities every year to spread their message. According to group's press spokesman, Harry Gearman, procedure usually happens during the first year of the young boy's life and causes unnecessary damage. People think that somehow this is something that needs to be done. It, it's the rest of the world doesn't do it. it awesome article. Um, great. Um, you can go watch this whole video on your own. Um, let me show you this one. This one more video. The United States is a holdout in eradicating this Victorian era practice, which the rest of the developed world understands as a destructive human rights violation. Statement from Bloodstained Men and Their Friends. Okay, you get that standard bullshit from the American medical establishment. But anyways, here's another article. Okay, so Brett Johnson of the Bloodstained Men, who was formerly of the Bloodstained Men, maybe he's still... Um, or at least he was in the blood statement, um, said that this was the most pro uh, intactivist article he's ever read about um, circumcision. The, all of these articles happen with a short period of time uh, during the Bloodstained Men's Gulf, uh, Gulfport tour. Um, if you look here, um, there are some um, bullets here that I'm going to show you where these came from. These actually came from an email that was sent from the Next Level Intactivism um, Media Outreach Project. So that email matches these bullets here. Dramatically lowered sensitivity that can pro get progressively worse with age, decreased sexual function and sensations in men, lifelong sexual, uh, psychological damage to mutilated children and infants, rare foreskin health problems in intact ma males. There's nothing about the AAP in here. This is part by design okay so whoever wrote this article actually read my email in depth and they probably did some of their research um maybe i don't know how, how depth in depth but i mean this is a phenomenal article they definitely did their research okay so that's a bunch of different articles that's four different groups um this one is the same one as this one the krg wkrg okay so where did these all come from um, this is an email I sent out. You see WKRG right here. Okay, this would not have been posted. This art, this video, this article, whether or not it's pro, or pro or positive, positive or negative. This lady, you could hear what she said. She's repeating some of the stuff that we need repeated. Okay, whether it's good or bad, it's it's positive. This was from this email. Okay, I didn't fake this email. I don't know how to do that. So this is an email I sent out. Um, anyways, this is very important because we are not affiliated with Bloodstained Men. This is not part of – I'm not um, doing this on behalf of uh, – I'm not doing this as at request from Bloodstained Men. Um, I did it because I noticed that they weren't doing that much of a media outreach, and I had to fix it. Um, so anyways, let me show you the email that I wrote. 
Um, I'm not in any way, af any way affiliated with a blood stain man. I'm a private citizen with my own concerns, as you can read below. Okay, let me expand this so we don't have to. Okay. As a victim of general mutilation, like millions of men, I have no idea what I was missing. In fact, I never will. Uh, uh, when I was an infant, as punishment for nothing other than born an American male. So I, I say some stuff in here to irritate the the, 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 the reader. I am not. This is not a, a kumbaya email. This is not a nice email. Okay. I, I explain that there are many of us. Okay. That there's. I, I show evidence and reason what it is. Um, it's not the four, it's not just skin, it's the primary sensitive, sensory tissue of a man's genitals. It's essential for normal sexual function. His amazingly designed system was created over 100 million years of evolution, part of a normal genital anatomy of 5,500 mammal species, only one of which knows how to shower. Okay? It was never my parents' right to do this to me. It was never my doctor's right, never my priest's right. It's my body. God damn it. I am not here to be nice to these people. Um, this evil, horrific, cowardly atrocity is being exposed as we speak. Why am I talking like this? I'm talking to reporters. I want them to see a trauma, a story, a uh, something that's going to catch their eye. All this catches your eye. When you see people in bloodstained pants showing up in your town protesting at your most popular street in your town and, and you don't have reporters there, something's wrong. There should be reporters there. This is a spectacle. This is an event. That's what we're doing. We're trying to get people to see us. Okay? Anyways, this is um, evidence that these articles are printed because of my, my work here. This actual email. Okay, facts of FGMGM. Male genital mutilation. Dramatically lowered sensitivities. Again, progressively worse with age. Altered stroke patterns for male orgasm, decreased orgasmic potential of partners, lifelong psychological damage, accumulated children and infants, medical benefits are post-trivial uh, trivial post hoc lies. I get into more depth there, but again, this is not a nice image. This is not designed to make people feel good. I can promise you two, two things to report. This will get ratings. This will be exposed in our lifetimes. If you have the guts to report on this, you will be seen as a savior in the near future. Our movement is growing exponentially. Our movement has all the science and all the evidence see below. We have the ethics. We have the medicine. We have the science. If you falsely report American medical lies about this issue, we expose in the very near future. And end it, we will. The question is, which side of history will you be on? For the detailed explanation of the sad American history, General Mulist, and most American medical lie in history, go to Historical and Medical Critique of Circumcision, Dr. Christopher Guest. Boom. Then we got the bloodstained men. Enforce. Do you have the guts to back cultural norms, to buck cultural norms if they are damaging children? The bloodstained men do. I do. Daniel rolled my phone number. I can answer any questions you have. P.S. Again, I'm not associated with the bloodstained men. Certain citizen, educated, aware citizen, fighting to end this barbaric ignorance of my culture. I did my research, and you do yours. This is all this is key. I'm calling them out. Okay? I'm saying do your research. Don't just put up bullshit. Here's, the, here's Taylor's studies, pictures of miser corpuscles. I'm sorry, you can't – this is not a lie. You can't make this shit up. You can't make these pictures up. Anyways, it blows my mind that I still have – that I actually have to – truth of Jennifer Bosio's studies, tons of loss of sexual function, intromission, elaborate set of uh, sexual practices on erectile dysfunction, cut versus uncut, um, Global view on natal, neonatal circumcision, Australian, uh, German pediatric, cultural bias in the AAP, Finland, uh, male circumcision rate, uh, uh, urinary tract UTIs, tons of I, – I purposely wrote every – chose everything in here to answer all these questions. Okay, There's tons of research in here. Okay, Stuff about how the women say it's fine. The world agrees it's not okay, but this is totally okay. Okay, The benefits outweigh the risks. I put it all in here, man. I put it all in here. It's a great email, and uh, um, I want to use it again because it did really make really good results. One, two, three, four. Four. Uh, each one of these had a, a video. Each one of these had a video. That's crazy, except for this one. But this one was the most pro, according to Brett Johnson, the most pro media published article for an activist ever that he's ever read. 
I keep telling you guys, this is the most powerful thing in the world. You don't understand this. I don't understand how people don't understand this. Jump on this. Please help me. I need, I need some help with this. Anyways, um, what had happened was um, when I was with the Bloodstained Men, I went and I met them in Chula Vista. And we did a couple um, places in, in California. And um, one thing I noticed is there was never any media. I never saw media. I was just like, that doesn't make any sense. How could this not be a spectacle? How could somebody not? One time we had a um, student newspaper reporter drive by, and she stopped and talked to a couple of the Bloodstained Men. Um, anyways, so then Brett Johnson was telling me that they just don't get that much media, and it just didn't make any sense to him, didn't make any sense to me. Brett tried to start a media outreach campaign in the Bloodstained Men. Um, I don't think Brother K liked this because they have a, a way that they do things. Not knocking it, I'm just saying that they, they do it a certain way. Um, so they ended up firing Brett because Brett was, uh, uh, I guess, uh, I'm not sure exactly how all this. This is just hearsay from, from what I've understood, okay? So don't quote me on this or hold me on this. I, I don't have anything against anybody uh, that's doing this work. I, I love everybody in this movement. But I'm going to be honest and frank with anything that I see that I think will hold our movement back. And I think that we have to be honest with ourselves. And the truth is, is if we don't have a media outreach campaign, I don't know why the fuck you would be a protesting. Because um, there's a saying, the 80-20 rule, some wise man quotes quoted that. And he'll say like 80% of the work is done by 20% of the people in the company. Well, they also say that. You can get 80% of what you want with 20% of the work. Okay, well, this is – if you go out and protest, that's 10% of the value. Okay, you're reaching 10% of your value. If you do a media outreach campaign and you get articles printed, you have reached another – you have maximized that you, – you've gained 90% for 10%. Okay, it doesn't make any sense to not do a media outreach campaign. It does not. It is shooting yourself in the foot. It, it's, it's just asinine to spend the time protesting but to miss the time to, to, to contact reporters. So how do we fix this problem in intactivism? How do I make sure that you know uh, intact ninja warriors in um, Michigan, I think it is, or Minnesota, wherever you people are, love you guys. Um, they have media outreach campaign done for them. Um, whether or not uh, a – we don't have to ask permission for this stuff, by the way. If someone's doing a protest, we can run a media outreach campaign regardless. We just you know make sure we put disclaimers in that we are not associated with bloodstained men. I don't want to step any toes, but I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to get you more media than you are getting. I don't care if you like it or not. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay, so anyways, that's the power of this stuff. Let me show you what this looks like so that you can see for yourself. Um, I forgot to get this part. All right, so here is the... Media, National Media Database. Um, it's got instructions right here. Tells you exactly what to do, how to find the emails, how to organize them, how the, the you know, the little key down here tells you exactly how to do this. Uh, if I go over here, um, this is California. I've been working on California. Um, today I did uh, LA Times. I just kind of wanted to get LA Times done just because it's such a huge media. So I kind of scroll down here and let's see. There it is. Okay, so I did LA Times. Um, well, basically, you like region or city, media type, media focus. So newspaper, general interest, uh, that's part of that key you can look over, LA Times. Now, um, anybody that gets one of these that, that says, hey, I'm going to do this, they're going to get – like say they're going to get a state, right? So if you say I'm going to volunteer, you're going to get a state right here. And all of the emails, or I'm sorry, the, um, the links are already done for you. All you have to do is click, okay, click. Now I have three 
of the media already open and I can just go through and gather the information that we need. Here's a contact us, boom, already we're moving in the right direction, okay? So here's the, the, they're already set up for you. you and this one doesn't work, so you'll just put a, a yellow line through that saying it doesn't work, okay? But anyways, um, if you look at this, these are emails. I have 576 emails. I don't think you can see it here. Sometimes a double click will work, but look at these emails. Hey, where'd this come from? LA Times uh, website. Okay, I can now send a email to everybody at LA Times. I mean, literally everybody. Audience engagement, editor, editor of the editorial pages, whoever, everybody, everybody there's gonna get an email from me, including the reporters. Uh, everything I can find on their website. Anyways. That's the power of this database. Um, what can we use this for? Um, we can use this for protests, uh, uh, learning local media of protests. We can use this for educational outreach to reporters, which we are going to have uh, a whole series of emails that we will start sending out with links, information, education for everybody that opens the emails. Okay, um, this is a very powerful system to reach a lot of people. Okay, everybody likes emails. These are not people that get so much spam. Maybe they do get a lot of spam, but they don't get that much spam. These are professional emails. So a lot of these will get written, will get opened. Um, I, we can put some provocative email headings such as what you don't know about the male genitals or stuff like that. You know, um, the, the biggest medical fraud in human history is about to explode. You want to read that, right? I'm sure you do. Um, anyways, um, don't waste any time on that. Get on it. Help me. Get a state. Um, start working on this. Uh, what I'd like to do is try to get in five or you know so media outlets, maybe three times a week. Try to get like 15 in a week or something like that, or 20 in a week, somewhere around there. Um, we're gonna keep track of them on. Um, uh, we'll motivate each other on uh, Discord. So let me show you that on Discord. But there's a uh, intactivist database channel. So today I completed 15 media outlets with 115 media outlets added to the database. That was yesterday. So today I added over 588. So I've completed, yeah, some information. Anyways, that's it. Um, get a hold of me. Let's do it. All right, love you guys. Bye.